It has been over one month since the amended Natural Resource Fund Bill No. 19 of 2021 was assented into law by President Irfan Ali. The bill, which was passed amid political objection on December 29, has made it possible for the government to boost its 2022 budget by a whopping $126.7 billion from oil revenues. However, one of the key components of this amended act is still missing, that is, the Board of Directors, which according to the act will manage the fund. To this end, Alliance for Change General Secretary David Patterson is adamant that there will be no proper surveillance in how this money is being spent. So, so, so the rumor and, and, and the myth that the government is trying to say that this board has oversight in the spending and those things like that is a nullity. Because, of course, we've already passed that. The, the, the government didn't even have the decency nor the, um, the, 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 the transparency or, or even the attempt to be transparent to at least have this board in place. During the budget debates, the parliamentary opposition repeatedly asked the government to identify specific projects which will be facilitated by the oil revenues, but those questions have gone unanswered, even though the senior minister with responsibility for finance, Dr. Ashni Singh, previously said that no money will be withdrawn from the fund without parliamentary scrutiny. Patterson says his party is suspicious on how the money will be spent. And when the board is established, he believes that the directors will find it difficult to track the projects, which were already completed using money from the fund. It is Patterson's firm belief that the selection process for members of the board should see input from the general public. Just as we did with the Public Procurement Commission and we do with all commissions, they thought that there is the PAC met, then they had public um, ads, they, they, they determined the criteria and the qualifications of the person. And then we we'll go out, and then we find suitable persons, deliberate, and then bring bring it back to um, to Parliament in the end to, to be approved. Without that process, it, it may just be, end up being the. PPP just bring in a few names or even just one name. Meanwhile, the leader of the Alliance for Change, Kemraj Ramjitan, says the board of directors is a big sham. The previous 2019 Act was of tremendously greater effectiveness in relation to transparency and all of that. And to the extent then that we will have to formulate amendments to the Act to ensure that that which was covered previously is now covered we are going to do so. The opposition says its position on the 2019 Act remains the same since it allows for more transparency and accountability. I mean, we couldn't get the answers. They said that it's all made fungible and was now mixed up with a consolidated fund, which is a fund that has taxation, the levies, and all other you know, uh, revenue streams that go, go into so that you could then make the spending. Right now, what will that board do? Because even it would appear, the government does not know what the NRF fund had, has gone towards. As per the amendments, the directors will be selected from persons who have a wide experience and ability in legal, financial, business, and or administrative matters. The board will comprise three to five members, one of whom shall be from the private sector. These directors will be responsible for the overall management and oversight of the fund, reviewing and approving the policies of the fund, and monitoring the performance of the fund. The board is also expected to provide information and reports required by the subject minister. For the HDP Nightly News, Kendall Richmond.